everyone, welcome to Classic Sitcoms, Facts and Trivia. My name's Bob, appreciate you being here. Um, before we get started, please subscribe. I um, want to get the subscriptions up on this one too. Uh, believe it or not, there may be a, con a contest coming when this one hits a thousand. But right now, we're involved in the contest, uh, this trivia contest, which is suspended for the weekend. We'll be back with it on Monday, and it'll run through Friday, and then I'll draw for the winner on the next Monday. But we do have a video for you today, so. Uh, and it's on Gomer Powell USMC and how Elizabeth McRae had to relearn her southern accent to play Luann Pooby. Remember Luann Pooby? Beautiful woman. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh, the summer of 67 was called by some the summer of love. But the cast of Gomer Pyle USMC, it was a time for a work field trip. In late days of summer, Jim Neighbors and company crossed the country to D.C. to film a few episodes of the military sitcom for its fourth season. It's the first time the show shot outside of California. Uh, the special occasion also called for a musical number with Jim Neighbors singing The Impossible Dream. Uh, the fourth season was a big one for the Andy Griffith Show spinoff. That year, Elizabeth McRae saw her role upgraded on the series. Luann was escalated to recurring appearances as Gomer's girlfriend, an article in the press and Sun Bulletin wrote. McRae had previously appeared three times on Gomer Pyle, but now she would be more of a permanent presence. So much so that McRae was the one being profiled in newspapers to promote the fourth season. The reporter sat down with the actress to discuss her blossoming career, and she shared some interesting details about her rise to fame. Uh, the writer explains that uh, McRae was born in North Carolina, where the McRae's had been fixtures for generations. In other words, she came from money. She attended boarding school out of state. After graduating, she asked her father for funds so she could pursue her dream in New York. Speaking of cash, Daddy gave me $100 and told me to come home when it was gone, she said. But I got a job modeling within a week and started studying drama and speech to lose my southern accent. For her first television role, she landed a role in the anthology series Rendezvous in 1959. She has flown to London for the part. Rolls Royces, elegant hotels, they threw in the works, she gushed. Gushed, I uh, stayed two months and loved it. Uh, the fancy schooling and first-class world traveling worked. Perhaps too well, she lost her accent and had to gain it back for Gomer. I've had to learn my southern accent all over again, she confessed to the paper. It may have been a light-hearted comedy, but Gomer Pyle relied on the academic acting training. She explained that she utilized the uh, Stanislavski uh, approach, if I pronounced that right, uh, to acting. The foundations of method acting, you know, like Marlon Brando, right down to Luann Pooby's fluttering hands and wide baby blue-eyed stare. Who says Gomer Pyle is in high art? I think that's super cool. Everything comes in full circle. And God bless her. She was rich. And God bless her daddy, who did the right way. He didn't just say, here's a bundle of money, and I'll send you more when you need it. Here's a hundred bucks. You try out what you want to try. And if it doesn't work out, you come home. That's a good dad. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I hope you Gomer Pyle fans like this. Uh, and I know there's a bunch of you because I know there's a bunch of Andy Griffith fans. And I know some went over there to watch that one too. Anyway, have a great day. Contest starts again on Monday. God bless you. Uh, don't forget classic sitcoms, facts, and trivia. Head on over there watch that. Uh, this is classic sitcoms, facts. I get so confused. Uh, oh, how about this? Subscribe. There you go. Now... Don't forget about Beverly Hillbilly's Facts and Trivia. Head on over there and watch that one. And Andy Griffith's Facts and Trivia. And you go over there for that one. And, you know, you might watch all three. And then if the, I do another video, we're going to be all screwed up. I'm not going to know which way's which. But I think I'm going to do another one. I think I'm going to do another channel. I'm thinking about it being on, um, can't tell you. Have a great weekend. God bless. I'll be praying for you.